Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today, we're going to be building another road vehicle here, and we're going to be building this waste management garbage truck. And these type of trucks are pretty common in the USA here. And we have done one of these before in the old 90s paint scheme, but now we're doing the modern green paint scheme. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start off on the front end and take out polished blackstone slabs. And we need to come on the upper hit box of the bottom and we're going to go five wide of top slabs and come behind it and make it three blocks long. So a five by three of polished blackstone top slabs. Then up here we're going to put a dark oak stair here and here on the back and a slab in the middle. Then three smooth quartz blocks on either side like this. Then a lever in the center here and then turn around and open a fence gate on either side like this. Then we'll come out on the front again. On this front middle, put three deep slate tile blocks. Then on top, on the second block back from the front, we're gonna do two tall and five wide of black stained glass blocks. And on the front, two rows of five black stained glass panes like this. Come behind it in a column of two black stained glass panes on each outer edge back here. Now come behind this on the bottom middle and we're going to go three wide in the center with polished black stone top slabs and we're going to extend that back and we're going to make it a total of 14 blocks long. So a 3 by 14 of top slabs in the middle on the upper hip box of the first block. Then we're going to come up here and put an upside down smooth quartz stair here and here and then three polished deep slate walls in the middle here. On top of this, we're going to do two rows of five smooth quartz blocks across this. Then we're going to put a block of coal on the side right here for the front wheel. And then one right here. Then we're going to come on top of these slabs with polished deep slate wall again. And we're just going to go three wide on top of this. And we're going to bring it all the way down to the back of these slabs here so it's all filled in three wide, just like that. Now come behind this front wheel on these walls up here and put two dark oak fence gates and same thing on this side. Then we'll come down here and put three polished andesite top slabs here, three on this side, and then three polished andesite stairs facing outward on top of those on each side. Behind that on the second layer, do a full row of fence gates all the way down to the back of this. And same thing here. Then we're going to put a block of coal here and here for the back wheels. So it's two blocks from the end. Same thing. So one block of coal here and here. Then we're going to put an item frame with a block of iron on all six of these coal blocks for the wheels. Make sure we get both sides, of course. Then we're gonna come on the side of the cab here, and we're going to put a warp sign right here, then a bamboo sign here, then an acacia button here. Repeat on the other side, so an acacia button here, then a warp sign right here, and a bamboo sign here. Then up here, we're gonna put two polished blackstone buttons and come over here and two on this side. Then on this front middle here, we're gonna put a blank birch sign in the center, then a glow item frame on each outer edge with a block of gold and turn them so they're like this. Then we're gonna come on top of this and start on the back and do a five by three of quartz slabs up here to make the roof of the cab, just like that. Now come behind the cab over here, put another brick fence down here, then two stone brick walls and a fence. On this side, put a stone brick wall here with an oak trap door on it, and actually another wall underneath this one. Then we're gonna skip one block back behind these walls and take out dark prismarine blocks. And then right here, we'll go three wide, and then extend it out to the side and come all the way back on this outer edge to the back. Same thing here, extend out to this side, and bring dark prismarine all the way to the back of this side. Then we're gonna come up here on the front of this, 
and we'll do a five by three of Dark Prismary coming up another three blocks here. Then down here, we're gonna do a row of upside down, outward facing Dark Prismary stairs coming down to the back right here. And repeat on this side, a row of upside down stairs over here as well. On top of that, we're gonna do two rows of three Dark Prismary blocks at the front of each outer edge here. Then behind that, we're gonna do two rows of four smooth quartz blocks, and two rows of four here. And behind that, two rows of three dark prismary on each side again. Then we're gonna come on top of this front here, and we're gonna go three wide on this top middle with dark prismary. And on the outer edge, we're gonna do a full row of outward facing dark prismary stairs to the back. And then same thing here, a full row of stairs facing outward here. And then go ahead and fill in the whole roof three wide in between these stairs with dark prismarine and bring that down to the back. Now cut behind this, put three polished blackstone top slabs on the bottom middle and three polished blackstone blocks above it. On the side and upside down forward facing bamboo stair on either side of this second layer here. Then behind this on bottom, three more polished blackstone top slabs down here. Then we're gonna put a bamboo top slab on each side, then three sole sand in the middle, and a bamboo plank on either side. Across this, five upside down bamboo stairs on the second layer. Then three bamboo slabs on the middle here. Then to make this look nasty, we're gonna put three skull veins on top of this sole sand. Then on each back corner here, we're gonna put a column of two dark prismarine blocks on each side. Then we'll put two here, and two dark prismarine stairs in a column here. And then repeat here, so two blocks here, two stairs here. Then on top of each back corner, we're gonna put a backward facing dark prismarine stair, then two upside down stairs facing outward here, and two upside down stairs here. Then we're gonna add a block here and here, and then five dark prismarine stairs across this, and then five stairs across the top like that. Now we'll do the compactor blade in here, so come behind where the skulk is and put three upside down polished andesite stairs. Then three polished andesite blocks above it, and then above that we're gonna move one block back in here, and put three right side up stairs in here. So it looks like that. Then we're gonna come up here on the middle and put a grindstone here, and then a bamboo sign on either side of the grindstone. And I'm not liking the shape of the top here, so I have these top five stairs I'm going to take off and change to dark prismarine bottom slabs across here. Then on either side of these sides, we're going to put a glow item frame with a frog light in each one. Then we're going to come down on the bottom and put a glow item frame on each side with a redstone block and then a mangrove button above each of those. Then on the back right here, close a bamboo trap door. Then on this corner, do a lever and a mangrove button above it. Same thing on the other side, we're gonna put a lever here and a mangrove button above that. Then we're gonna come on the front of this dark prismarine section and we're gonna put a mangrove button here and here and one down on this corner. Repeat on this side, so a button here and here and then down on this corner. Then up here on the top, we're gonna to put two rows of three green stained glass panes on this top middle. Then we're gonna come down behind this button with a mangrove sign. Put one here, and then we're gonna go every other block till you have five here. Then we're gonna put a birch side here, and then a birch side in between all these mangrove sides coming forward. Just like that. Then we're gonna repeat the process on this side, so take out a mangrove sign over here one behind this button, and then go every other block till you have five mangrove signs. Then a birch sign here, and then one in between all these signs, just like that. Then back here, we're gonna put a warp fence gate on this dark prismarine block here. Then down on this bamboo plank, a mangrove sign, and then we're gonna put a birch fence gate above this warped one repeat the pattern on this side. So a sign down here, then a warp fence gate here, and a birch one above it. 
come out the front of this and we're gonna put two more fence gates in a column here. And then two right here on this side. Then take dark prismarine slabs on the top middle, one block from the front and put two here. Then one block from the back, put three in the middle. Across this gap, put a row of sideways lightning rods right here. Now we're gonna make some banners. So come into a loom with a white banner and green dye. Put a vertical on the left and the right and a triangle on bottom. New banner with yellow dye. Put a vertical on the left and right and an upside down triangle on top. Then put a white border around both of these banners. And then we'll place these. So we're gonna come up on the center of this smooth cords here and we're gonna put WM like this. Then down here we're gonna put two birch signs on the left, two bamboo signs on the right. And then we're gonna repeat on this side. So on the center of this, use your banners to put WM. Then two birch signs down here on the left, two bamboo signs on the right. Then we're also gonna put a bamboo sign on this top corner next to this button right here. And repeat on this side and put a bamboo sign right here. Now come on the side here, put a lever here and a birch fence above it for the mirror. And same thing here, a lever and then a birch fence. Then on the front of these slabs, we're gonna put an acacia sign on each side and in the center. And on the top center of this cab, we're gonna do a single quartz slab here. And there we have it folks. We've completed our modern waste management garbage truck. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.